Hey guys, so today I am filming my November favourites video. I'm going to tell you all about some of the products that I've been loving for the past month. Bit of a disclaimer at the beginning, I actually haven't been wearing as much makeup this month as I normally would. Um, mainly because I'm currently eight months pregnant, as a lot of you guys will know, and I'm knackered, to be really honest with you. I'm so tired all the time that I've really cut down on kind of like events where I need to be wearing a lot of makeup. I'm still wearing my like day-to-day -day makeup, but in terms of like going out to kind of evening events and things like that, I haven't been doing that as much. And I apologize as well at the beginning if I sound a little bit congested because I am the joys of being pregnant. Anyway, so I've got four makeup products that I've been reaching for consistently this month and I just keep going back to. The first one is the Fenty Beauty um, Matchsticks in Trippin. I had the Fenty Beauty powder in my last month's favourites, I think. Um, and I didn't think I would love this that much. Like, out of all of the matchsticks that I got, I got one um, concealer, one contour, and then this one, which is kind of like the highlightery, blushery one. I use it as a blush. It's kind of like a peachy, gold, metallic colour. It's very similar, actually, to, like, NARS Orgasm kind of vibe, like, golden peach. But I actually really, really love this. I've been reaching for it loads, especially because um, we've done not traveling, but like I've been doing my makeup on the go quite a lot um, over the past couple of weeks, like either in the car or we went to stay with friends last weekend. And I just find like, it's just so easy to like have, draw on and then just blend with your fingers. So I've been using that loads this month, really, really like it. And it's just, it's not like an obvious color, but it's just like really fresh and kind of glowy. Really like that. And I feel like this video is like the high-low video because I've got some really expensive beauty items, but then some also really affordable ones as well. Um, so the next thing that I've been loving is a Tom Ford lipstick. I find Tom Ford makeup a little bit hit and miss because it's so pricey. I sometimes struggle to justify like the price tag attached to a lot of the makeup. However, this lipstick I have been reaching for like every single time I've been doing my makeup recently. I really, really love it. It's called Pussycat 04. It's one of their matte lipsticks, one of his matte lipsticks. And it really doesn't look like I've used this very much because I apply it really lightly. You can apply it quite heavily and it would be like a lot more kind of bold a look. But it's just a really pretty kind of mauve colour. It's a little bit deeper than I would normally go for. Um, but I really like it. Really, really nice. And, you know, Tom Ford's packaging is amazing. But it should be because these are like 40 quid. But it's beautiful. Really, really love that colour. and would recommend checking it out if you fancy a Tom Ford lipstick. And then I've also been loving the Lash Sensational Mascara from Maybelline this month. I've had this, I think, a couple of times. This one's actually a personalised one they sent me, but I've bought it before. And I've never really appreciated how good it is, but it is actually really, really good. I've always liked Maybelline mascaras. But I think I took the time this month to actually, like, step back from it and be like, oh wow, that's actually really good. Um, it's been the first drugstore mascara I've used in a while. I've gone through a YSL one and an Armani one for my last two, and I'm like halfway through a Tarte one at the same time as using this as well. And it's actually so good, and it's not expensive, so yeah, big fan of this. I think there's also the limited edition Gigi Hadid packaging one is out at the moment as well, so if you want to pick that up, it's really nice packaging. Um, but yeah, really, really good. It's got good separation, good curl, good length, volume. It's kind of like how it ticks all the boxes for me. Whenever I'm looking for mascara, I don't have any particular thing that I want. I want it all. Uh, like, I just, I don't want just the curl or just the length or just the volume. I want a bit of everything. And for me, this does that. Really like it. And then last but not least, blow my own trumpet again. I've spoken about this fairly recently, but I've been using this genuinely every day. Even if I'm only wearing concealer and mascara and my brows, this will be the only thing I use on my brows. It's my Brow Define pencil with Isla. Um, it's double-ended, so this is actually the medium one, but each colour you get a light and a dark shade and it just makes doing your brows so much easier because you have one product in your bag and whether you want to do a full-on brow look, really bold brows, really, really subtle brows, you kind of have it all in like one tiny pencil. I actually use this and sometimes I use the light one just because I have them because they're mine, obviously I have like every colour, um, but I use the medium one kind of day-to-day, -day. I use the lighter shade of the medium um, just to sharpen up that line underneath my brow. Then I'll use the darker shade in the middle, or if I'm just doing like an everyday, like throw it on brow, I'll just use all the lighter shades so I can do it a bit quicker. But yeah, I've been using that pretty much every day, so I thought it deserved a mention, even though I've been talking about it a lot. Um, and then I have one skincare favorite this month, and like I said, this is a very high-low video. Um, this is a really, really expensive cleanser, and I was sent it, but 
It's amazing. It's so good. It's from a brand called Romilly Wild. I had actually never heard of it before, but it turns out it's made by the founder of Plum Baby Food. Random, right? Um, so random. I, I guess she's into kind of all natural stuff, but it's 100% natural cleanser. So if you're into your natural beauty and or if you're pregnant and you want to try more natural stuff, I would really recommend this. I've actually got the serum as well, which is so good and even more expensive. But I was just so impressed by how brilliant this is considering it's all natural and it just in general like in comparison to all cleansers I've tried it's kind of like they call it a serum cleanser but it's kind of like a serum balm mixed together it's got similar packaging to the Sarah Chapman ultimate cleanse which is my other favorite it's like a pump package they say use like six pumps or something ridiculous I don't use six pumps I use like two or three if I've got a lot of makeup on but then I'll just double cleanse um so yeah it's it's brilliant it really is good I absolutely love it doesn't irritate my eyes. It's got uh, an oil-based cleanser with wi wild oils, manuka honey, and saffron for a radiant clear comp complexion. And it just makes my skin feel and look glowing and amazing. And I think it's about 60 pounds. It is really expensive, but I genuinely have been using it every day. And I, it's hard because when you get sent really pricey items like this, I don't want to discriminate against them because they're expensive. Because if they are really good, I feel like I should tell you guys about it. So um, yeah. Full disclosure on that one, it's expensive but it is great. Uh, moving on to body stuff, this shower gel has been seriously floating my boat this this month. I have nearly finished the whole of this this bottle. It's a 500ml bottle as well. It's the Sopa, Sopa Duper, I always have trouble saying this, Sopa Duper, um, passion fruit flavour. I am a big fan of Sopa Duper, they're a fairly new brand. Again, same founder as, not as Plum, different company, same founder as Soap and Glory and Beauty Pie, um, but they are 95%, or well, this particular product, they're all different, but they're mainly natural um, ingredients. So this is 95% natural, um, with shea and coconut butter, papaya extract, no parabens, SLS, colours, or any of those usual suspects, it says. Um, yeah, so basically it's a more natural alternative to using your bog standard shower gel. This stuff is so lovely though, it smells incredible. I love passion fruit anyway. They actually sent me, I have to say, they sent me the ginger one of this today and I'm very excited to try that because I love ginger and it smells like Christmas. Um, but the passion fruit one is gorgeous and I don't know if there's much more to say about it to be honest. It washes your body, it's really, it's not, it feels like an expensive texture. You know how some shower gels are a bit jelly-like? I don't like those ones. This one is quite thin but it foams up into like a really like nice lather. It's not like a foamy foamy lather, it's like a moisturising lather. Love it. If you haven't tried this brand, ignore the crazy green packaging which I think is quite unappealing. The actual product inside is amazing. Um, and then I've got two body lotions. I'm getting through it guys. I feel like I'm out of breath even sitting still at the moment. Being pregnant is weird. Um, we've got two body body lotions. This one is actually just finished. This is from Palmer's and it's their cocoa butter formula with vitamin E massage lotion for stretch marks. Sexy. Um, I've used up the whole of this pot this month on my big belly um, and I haven't got any stretch marks so far. Touch wood. I mean, usually you get them right at the end so or after you've had a baby when your tummy goes back. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, but it's really nice lotion to use. I use it all over my body, not just on my tummy and my boobs and like baby areas where it's growing and changing. Um, but yeah, I use it all over my body and really, really like it and it's cheap. So yeah, love that. And I've been using Palmer's a lot during my pregnancy. Um, the other one that I have been using this month and I've just finished it is the Erin Tangier Vanille Body Cream. This is my second pot of this. Smells divine. Erin is one of the most beautiful, beautiful brands. I feel like it doesn't get a lot of airtime, um, and not a lot of people know about it. It's basically the baby sister brand to Estee Lauder, or the great granddaughter or granddaughter of Estee Lauder, which is Erin Lauder, hence it's, it's named after her. Um, but the Tangier Vanille fragrance is beautiful. I also love um, the Amber Musk one, um, which I have never had the body lotion off, but I love the fragrance. So lovely. This cream is so luxurious and so thick and so moisturising, but it doesn't stay like on the surface of your skin. It really sinks in. It absorbs very quickly. It's just a real like treat for your skin. So when I'm not using my Palmer's one, if I'm having like a bit of a pamper sesh, I will use this one. And Or if I want to smell nice because it smells divine, I will use this one. So that's actually finished as well. I might do a product empties. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? 
got a lot of empties at the moment. And then I've also got a fragrance that I've been loving this month, which is the Glossier You fragrance. I feel like this is quite controversial. This is definitely a love-hate thing. I put a picture of this up on my Instagram, and so many people were like, that bottle is horrendous. I think the bottle's quite cute. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this smells really, really good. It's one of those fragrances that kind of smells like you not making an effort. It's not, it just smells like, oh, you smell amazing naturally kind of fragrances. It's very light, it's very fresh, very similar to like eccentric molecules, that kind of vibe where it's like, oh, it smells like you're just, you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> Baby brain right now. Um, it's <laughs> I've done a full review of it on my blog, which is definitely going to be more cohesive than what I'm saying now. Um, and yeah, will make definitely make more sense. But it smells really good. I really like it. I've been reaching for it pretty much every day for the past few weeks. I feel like maybe three weeks. I don't think I got it right at the beginning of the month, but I've used up, I'd say about a third of it, quarter of it. Lovely, I really like it anyway. Um, and in case you've been living under a rock, Glossier is now available in the UK, did you know? It is. Um, the last thing, I feel like I'm going a bit crazy. The last thing that I've been loving this month is a nail varnish. And actually I feel like I am betraying this nail varnish because I'm not actually wearing it in this video. I have been wearing this color on repeat for the whole of this month until yesterday when I changed it to this nude color. So ignore what I've got on my nails right now, which if you're interested in Sally Hansen's Pink Pong, which is also one of my all time favorites. Um, and believe me when I say, I have actually been wearing this for all other like 25 days of the month so far. So it's Essie's Bahama Mama. I go back to this every single autumn. It's such a good autumn shade. It's like the perfect plum color. It's beautiful, it's like ready, purpley, autumnal gorgeousness. I love it and it applies really nicely and it has the big thick Essie brush and it's just it's like just great in general. This is not my favorite Essie color I think. But Hama Mama, if you don't really own it, you need to get it in your life. So yeah, that's it for my monthly favorites. <laughs> I feel like I need to go and have a good cup of tea now. Um, I will see you guys very soon. Um, I hope you're all having a lovely, lovely run up to the festive period. I'm starting to feel very Christmassy and it's exciting me greatly. Um, oh, also thank you all so much for your awesome feedback on my gift guides. I'm glad you like them and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.